Hey guys, so today I'll be giving you my top three budget VPNs for 2024. And I know that there are a lot of free or cheap options out there, but most of these obviously come at a cost. Some might be slow, others might not allow you to stream or torrent safely, and some would go so far as to sell your data to advertisers to cover server costs and maintenance. So that's why I went through all the top VPNs and narrowed them down to three options that are very reliable, allow you to stream from pretty much any platform platform with little to no issues, have great speeds, uh, and are generally great VPNs to use. And these are going to be NordVPN, Surfshark, and CyberGhost. And of course, despite having some things in common, each of these three VPNs has its own unique thing to offer, be it Surfshark's unlimited simultaneous connections, or NordVPN's abundance of features and lightning fast speeds, or CyberGhost's great performance for a very low cost. And so, I'll be going over all of that to help you make a more informed decision and ultimately pick a budget VPN that best suits your needs and situation. And of course, if you want to check them out for yourself, I'll be leaving all the useful links down in the description, including some special discounts that you won't find anywhere else. Now, before we talk about what each VPN has to offer, let's talk about a few things they have in common. So first of all, they all have a strict no logs policy and they operate on RAM only servers instead of hard disks. And this means that these servers can't store any information on them. And of course, you shouldn't take any VPN's word for it when it comes to privacy policies, unless they can back it up with some sort of proof. And that's why all three VPNs on this list have gone through several independent audits conducted by well-trusted auditing firms such as PwC all of which confirmed their commitment to their policies. And then in addition to privacy and security, all three of these VPNs have the necessary features that you should look for in every VPN. So for example, um, all three have a kill switch that would sever your internet connection should you uh, accidentally disconnect from the VPN server. And this feature is one of the most important things to have in a VPN, especially if you live in a censorship heavy country because it prevents any of your data or activities from being leaked over to your ISP, government, or anyone spying on on your network. Uh, you also have a split tunneling feature, which I wouldn't say exactly is essential, but it's a really useful feature to have. And it's been a standard practice for all premium VPNs to include it. And basically what it does is it allows you to choose which apps pass through the VPN tunnel and which ones do not. So for example, if I only wanted my browser to use the VPN while the rest of my apps are left unaffected by the VPN or vice versa, I can do all that with split tunneling. Okay, so now that we've talked a little bit about what they all have in common, let's check out what each has to offer that's unique from each other. So starting with CyberGhost, which is the cheapest VPN on this list. Now, despite this surprisingly low price and not having as many features as Nord or Surfshark, CyberGhost is still definitely one of the best affordable VPNs that gives you access to streaming and torrenting while also protecting your data. And it does have some cool things to offer. So for example, CyberGhost has the biggest list of servers out of the three, standing at over 11,600 servers spread across a hundred countries. Now, while the quality of the servers and connection speed may not be as crisp as NordVPN, it's still consistent enough to be on this list. Uh, CyberGhost also has a bunch of dedicated servers that work in a pretty unique way, and I haven't seen any VPNs use this approach yet. For example, let's say you wanted to watch a specific Netflix library. You can just type Netflix in the search bar and it will give you access to all the servers that are optimized for Netflix. So as a result, this makes life a whole lot easier to be honest. And I kind of wish other VPNs had something similar to this as well. And so if you're looking for the most affordable VPN out there that still does its job very well as far as giving you access to streaming services, fully supporting torrenting and protecting your data, then CyberGhost is a great option. So next up, let's take a look at Surfshark. Now, Surfshark might not be as fast as NordVPN, and quite frankly, no VPN really is, but it's still a faster and more consistent VPN than CyberGhost. Now, if you ask me, one of the best things about CyberGhost is the fact that you can use it on an unlimited number of devices simultaneously, whereas with Nord, for example, you can get up to six uh, devices that you can use Nord on simultaneously. CyberGhost, you get up to seven devices. And so if you're someone who wants to have a VPN that you can share 
with your friends or family as much as you'd like, and everyone is using the VPN at the same time on multiple devices, then Surfshark is truly the best option. And when it comes to servers, it has over 3,200 servers spread across 100 countries. So it's got the same country count as CyberGhost, except that it's more consistent when it comes to maintaining high speeds across all the servers. Now, as far as features go, Surfshark kind of falls in the middle between CyberGhost and Nord. It has a lot of cool bonus features, uh, more than those of CyberGhost, but it's not exactly as jam-packed as Nord. Uh, still, it has all the essential features we mentioned earlier, like the kill switch and split tunneling, but it doesn't stop there, as Surfshark also has a bunch of bonus features that are pretty interesting. For example, it has a no borders mode, which would help you to get around firewalls in censorship heavy countries. And it has a rotating IP address that would switch up your IP every five to 10 minutes, making it nearly impossible to track down your activity. Surfshark also has some specialty servers, such as static IP servers that would have the same IP address every time you connected to them, which can help with accessing services that are sensitive to IP changes. Uh, like bank applications, for example, or to simply avoid annoying capture requests over and over again. And then you'll also be getting dynamic multi-hop servers uh, that will route your connection through two VPN servers instead of one for double the security. And not to mention that Surfshark now has dedicated IP support so you can get your own dedicated IP address that no one else can use, uh, which is very helpful when it comes to online activities that demand higher security, such as online banking or remotely accessing highly sensitive or regulated data. And then one more thing to point out with Surfshark, just to show you how budget friendly it is, is that if you opt for the highest tier uh, plan called Surfshark One Plus, this comes with an antivirus, a VPN, a safe search feature, and even a data leak tracker. And even with all those additional features, it would still cost about the same as most VPN subscriptions, which don't even offer any of these additional security tools. And so if you're looking for one of the most budget-friendly VPNs that get the job done at the best possible cost without sacrificing security or features, then Surfshark would absolutely be the one to get. All right, so I saved the best for last and that's NordVPN. So first of all, NordVPN is the fastest VPN out there, whether you're looking at budget-friendly options or premium VPNs. Now, one thing I should mention is that when it comes to speed, it's natural to experience speed drops regardless of which VPN you go for. And that's due to the time it takes to encrypt your traffic before it reaches the internet. So generally speaking, any speed drops between 10 to 25% are considered great. And even speed drops of up to 40% are still considered good. But in the case of Nord, during my test, uh, speed drops were uh, somewhere between 8 and 22, 23%, which rivals that of one of the fastest VPNs out there, ExpressVPN. In fact, there were even instances where it beat ExpressVPN as it scored around a 5 to 6% speed drop while I was using its fastest performing protocol, Nordlinks. So it's safe to say that NordVPN is the fastest VPN in the industry, at least according to my test results. Now, as far as features go, NordVPN has the most features out of all the VPNs that I've tested on this list. And having this many features adds a lot to its value, uh, considering it's still a relatively affordable VPN. For example, on top of the conventional kill switch that we talked about earlier, it also has an app kill switch that would shut down the app the second you disconnect from the VPN server, instead of outright stopping your whole connection. Uh, you also have threat protection, which blocks ads and trackers and protects your device from harmful files acting a bit like a mini antivirus. There's also this cool feature feature it has called dark web monitor. And what it does is it keeps an eye out on the dark web and then alerts you to any leaked data that might be found there. And you also get MeshNet, which allows you to safely share files or have safe remote access over the encrypted network of NordVPN. And this would really come in handy if you're say working from home or you're on vacation and you wanna access the files uh, from your office computer uh, as an example. And one more thing that's pretty cool is the interactive map. It basically shows you all these different pins of the different server locations on a global map. And as a result, it's very clean and intuitive to use. But besides that, Nord offers over 6,000 servers spread across 61 countries, all of which are perfectly optimized for both streaming and torrenting, giving you access to virtually any streaming platform and most of their global libraries. And so when it comes to torrenting, you can torrent perfectly fine on any of their servers. But if you still want even more speed when torrenting, Nord has a lot of VPN servers you can choose from that are specifically optimized for P2P activities. 
So ultimately, how do you decide which of these three VPNs might be the best choice for you? Well, if you want the cheapest option or if you just want the most server locations to choose from, then CyberGhost would be the way to go. And then Surfshark would be the one to get if you want the most beginner friendly VPN, uh, the one that's the easiest to use. Or if you have a larger household, you can have as many people as you like connecting to Surfshark using your subscription plan without any limitations. And that's because Surfshark provides an unlimited number of simultaneous connections, which is pretty incredible. And then no matter which plan you pick, Surfshark is absolutely the best value. And that's because even if you go for the more expensive one plan or one plus plan with Surfshark, it's still cheaper than NordVPN. And it gives you better features like a fully fledged antivirus, for example. So yeah, Surfshark is definitely the best value option for the money. And then finally, Nord would be the one to get if you just want to get the best VPN. It's consistently the fastest, not only on this list, but even compared against other more expensive VPNs. It provides the best security. It's the best for streaming reliably without running into any issues. And if you do any torrenting, Nord would also provide the most protected experience out of the three. So it really doesn't get any safer or faster than Nord. It's an easy recommendation for anyone looking for a well-rounded VPN that does everything right. And amazingly, you're able to get all that at such a great price. So hopefully this video was helpful. If so, please leave a thumbs up as I always appreciate that. And if you guys have any questions, please don't hesitate to ask as I love getting to answer as many of those as I can. But otherwise, thanks so much for watching and I'll look forward to seeing you in the next video.